Uh, now I, I make a small studio like this. So, yeah, you, you have a mic there, I can talk to there. Yeah, yeah. So, can you talk? Hello, good morning. Switch on. It's on, yes. Okay. So we have a, a land today, very tired, just now arriving in Korea. <laughs> so nice to be here, Dr. Kim. So you're going in Hawaii today? Uh, yes. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. going to Hawaii directly on Asiana Air. Okay. So <laughs> nice to stop by and visit with you. Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. Just the morning came and to office and start talking, discussing. So we are talking about the uh, Palau uh, kind of a uh, hybrid university. So yes, I'm very uh, <clears throat> happy to see the presentation and I'm very impressed with your technology. So can you talk slightly about the Singularity University which you mentioned today? Yes, so Singularity University is a very interesting new idea for school mm. and it's based in uh, Northern California. Mm. Uh, I forgot the name of the founder but we can easily find out but uh, they wanted to put an emphasis on a, a more technical university so you get education directly for the job oh. and it's become very effective and especially in Silicon Valley where there's a big demand for new talent in computer science the the emphasis was on a specific case where you are being educated for a job mm. and it's a very interesting concept and my idea through some of our friends at UC Berkeley and our friends at the Stanford University is that we can create a school in Palau with mm. the support of Singular University mm. and then uh, with your technology the idea would be to uh, present those classes yeah, uh, and people can actually take those classes while they're in other parts of Asia mm -hmm. uh, using your technology. So mm. I'm hoping someday soon I'll be able to meet with the singular university people and introduce mm. Mm. your uh, very impressive net uh, technology. Yeah, today actually I, I really want to discuss about uh, another idea, uh, adding some more. Uh, some more idea how we add uh, educational things. So the <coughs> what I what I believe is uh, teacher and classroom is very important. Even we can do all e-learning, uh, e-study, mm -hmm. e-school. Everything is possible, mm -hmm. but actually uh, without teacher, without classroom, without friends, mm -hmm. the educational effect is not it's so not impressive. Yeah. So that's why I'm, I'm bringing here a uh, called hybrid university, which means uh, even we have an uh, e-learning school, mm -hmm. I would make uh, something uh, combined way. Mm. So... <coughs> you're in a very nice studio, Dr. Kim. You <laughs> must yes. have spent a lot of money to build this nice studio. <laughs> All right. So, <coughs> for example, here we have a 5G. We have a VR classroom like I'm using now. Okay. So actually I bring myself and you and uh, PowerPoint, whatever, we can put in one small screen which is called smartphone screen. So this video can go everywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, once you are watching that side, not watching this side, means the screen is covering everything what we can do. That's a basic uh, idea how we used this smart presentation technique for teacher. Mm -hmm. That means teacher can stay anywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Students also can, can be everywhere, but actually we are trying to put students together okay. to make a hybrid university. Mm -hmm. So I want to shortly, uh, quickly show you. Uh, this is just a history, you know, information transmission happening from like uh, speed of smoke and then go to Morris, go to uh, TV, radio, everything is a kind of way of transferring information. So finally we are living uh, on year 2020, which is a really uh, big change during past 10 years or 15 years. We have a great 
great change of history. So everybody know this is a dramatic explosion of the information transmission. Yes, just within the last 10 years. Yeah, yeah so uh, even, even 6,000 years of human Bible history, nobody expects such a big change. Mm -hmm. And even book, mm -hmm. the mass printing came from 1440. And after that, everybody can see the Bibles, for oh, example. Mm -hmm. But that time, we have a, finally we have internet, we have 5G, unbelievable video. Video information is a huge, they can transmit to there. Mm -hmm. But still people thinking the school has to be, uh, has to be in, the, in the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, so <coughs> even we have all this technology, the school always we are thinking there should be uh, in the classroom. Teacher has to be go there for teaching. Students go there to listen. Yeah. This is what we are trying to change. Right. So if you look at the MOOC, uh, the history, mm -hmm. the mass online open courseware from USA. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was uh, started a little bit early, but basically it really happening from year 2010. Yeah, so the the commercial site, commercial company came out from year 2011. I recognize Coursera. I actually know someone who works for Coursera. So yes. And very connected to Stanford, yes. Yes. So Coursera they, and the MIT edX, but that's right. really in the since 2012, yes. Yes. After that, it, it is... Uh, originally, all MOOC content is free. Basically, MIT, Stanford, all these people trying to trying to make this one free of free charge. But uh, they find uh, Udacity, Coursera, find even the video can be uh, free from from MOOC. Mm -hmm. But they need a uh, course uh, guidance, course uh, the carings. After that, they put some kind of uh, courses. This is a lecture. This is courses. Mm -hmm. After that, they, they tried to make uh, some kind of uh, a degree from here, but many universities deny this. Mm -hmm. The degree has to be come from the only uh, campus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, year 2019, mm -hmm. uh, right now, uh, there are many degrees you can get from Coursera. The university, like uh, Arizona University, you can get the uh, full Arizona University bachelor or master degree from there if they listen the 100% uh, e-courses there. Mm -hmm. But of course the money, not so cheap, like $15,000 to get the master course. Mm -hmm. I believe that most of the money going back to Arizona University. Mm -hmm. So this, this time, just a... 10 years history of MOOC is a dramatically change and finally they make a MOOC university, mm -hmm. biggest university in the world, I would say Coursera. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but if you look at their data, only uh, less than 5% students really, uh, really finish the course. Only 5%? Yeah, five, less than 5%, I would say. The, there are too many courses, but very few people actually get through. Mm, interesting. So if you look at the history of the uh, YouTube or uh, iTunes, you actually iTunes, who is servicing the uh, MP3 audio. Right, music. Mostly yeah, that's, music. The, that's the first time they make MP4 uh, cloud service. They call this is iTunes University. Mm. It happened in 2007, so all the students who make a recording, they, they put the content there. So after that, YouTube actually, uh, YouTube was very young, uh, about 2004 to 2006, they start from, from, from the Google. Mm -hmm. But uh, that time, only 15 minutes of video people can upload mm -hmm. because of the price of servers, price of the network. Right now, the, the price of the one terabyte hard drive become $20. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. That time was a uh, $10,000. Right, right. So it became free, and now the year 2009, after ITNCU make a free video, uh, year 2009, YouTube also decided to put EDU uh, channel where all the professors can put the video free of charge for mm -hmm. unlimited video. After that, year, ele year uh, 2011, 12, uh, Udacity came, uh, the official uh, MOOC uh, university came. Mm -hmm. 
and Coursera start from year 2012. Yes. After that, uh, Cultura, Zoom, LMS is a kind of a, the enterprise cloud service people can do. So any person who really wants to make a private YouTube with a LMS, they can use a Cultura or Moodle, this kind of platform. So right now, uh, the enterprise level of cloud service, uh, the, uh, both for CMS and LMS is available. So now it's time to start uh, mm. any commercial, uh, the university or, or the uh, video platform there. So this is a short history how mm -hmm. the people uh, make uh, uh, the education tools has been changed. So very long time, we don't have any blackboard in the classroom. More than 5,800 years, uh, we don't have a blackboard in the class. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can imagine what, what they uh, should do in the classroom. They even the Pythagoras theory or any algebra, there was no blackboard in the classroom. Mm -hmm. And only 200 years ago uh, from France, they used a, a slate uh, blackboard so the chalk has been invented uh, from 1845 mm. from U.S. Army. So now the modern chalk was invented at that time. Mm. So in general, the blackboard only maybe 150 years old. Mm. And then projector or PowerPoint only 25 years uh, old, very short time. And uh, 10 years ago, we have a smartphone. Now video coming to a smartphone. So that's why I'm trying to bring some technology, how we make a presentation world using uh, the new technology, which I'm using now, iStudio. So iStudio, uh, if you look at this one, one more time, uh, actually the, all this history, of the, the projector, it's, it's kind of multimedia classroom happened uh, from 1990. But uh, uh, from YouTube, year 2006, 7, 8, they start to put video of MIT, Stanford on the, on the uh, YouTube site. Mm -hmm. The smartphone classroom happened almost from year 2013 only. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, everybody watching lesson from smart TV. Right. So uh, this time for, for us to use some way to present, present the video directly to smartphone from any school, from any teachers. Mm -hmm. So I call this is the uh, classroom from the smartphone. Okay. That's what I'm defining smart class. Mm -hmm. So in the smart class, we need to use some machine to make a direct presentation over smart world. Mm -hmm. And then after watching this video, students go to classroom to have a discussion. So classroom is the place where the students sit there they, they discuss together, mm -hmm. and also there is a teacher. As long as teacher sitting in the classroom, everybody become very serious. Mm -hmm. And then every student can concentrate on their topic, their, their studies. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the MOOC content uh, on year, uh, year 2007, we have uh, more than 9.4 thousand uh, uh, courses there. And more than 800 universities are joined this, creating this uh, book platform. So the, uh, the MOOC numbers are exponentially increasing now. Mm -hmm. And I believe as soon as people start using iStudio, this, one, this curve can, can be a creep like this. Mm -hmm. So more universities here coming, uh, only e-learning universities coming out. Mm -hmm. So the limited space for real classical universities existing, but e-learning university will come unlimitedly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the technology I'm showing, iStudio, mm -hmm. is, a, uh, is an innovation, I would say, right. which means the listening lecture from remote class, from iStudio, from normal classroom, mm -hmm. can be better than the local class. Mm -hmm. So they do teaching here. We, we discuss about Stanford University, we mm -hmm. discuss about the Hawaii University. Mm -hmm. They have a class. They don't have to do anything. We just bring iStudio here and make a streaming to uh, Palau University. Mm -hmm. And the students watching Palau mm -hmm. can 
be more immersive listening than local class. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a this is the message, mm -hmm. and again, the watching this this class in the home mm -hmm. can be better than watching from local class. Mm -hmm. That means lecture cannot be in limited space in USA. The lecturing can go everywhere in the world as mm -hmm. long as they use a. Uh, some kind of studio. I believe there are many other ways, but I would say this is one of the solutions for this. Right. So I'm trying to change the way of teaching from, for example, from Stanford. If they use iStudio machine, mm -hmm. they can do better presentation, it's like I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Students don't have to decide where they should watch. Instead, they're just watching only projector screen and they can do more concentration. So uh, once we have this lecture, this lecture can show any time, any place, in any, any world. Mm -hmm. That's the power of smart class. That's why iStudio classroom is very important. Mm -hmm. So uh, now uh, already uh, people can get the credit from, from university from, uh, I mean, the, the e-learning uh, universities. So more than 400 online courses with real college credit that can be access free. Mm -hmm. That means Palau University students can get all this information freely. If you look at India, everybody going this way. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, if you look at the Coursera business model, very interesting. So the, the each course certificate, $79 or $80, depending on courses. So for example, uh, one of the famous uh, the person from Korea actually has uh, Yonsei University courses there. So every people can watch this. So, uh, but when they try to get credit, the certificate and credit is different. Credit, for example, from Arizona University course credit. Mm -hmm. They have to pay $1,500. Mm. When they have only certificate, they, they charge like $80. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. To get the real online degree from university, they have to pay to real university, like uh, Arizona State University or something like that. They have to pay a lot more. Yeah, but they they can also get the master degree, for example, if they pay fifteen thousand uh, dollars. Mm. This is a real degree certified by Arizona University. Mm -hmm. We have many universities in Coursera having this service. Coursera is a platform, mm -hmm. so the university can come and do this business by themselves. Mm. But the video so far on this book uh, have a, something like this the way how they make a video editing, video recording. Mm -hmm. Here they have a teacher, they have a blackboard, they have a presenting. Right. There are many ways, but this is a video recording from class. Right. But what I'm doing here is like this, if I watch the students, mm -hmm. and then if I change the classroom. So th this one is a lecture. Mm -hmm. This is a real teaching, presenting lecture, while mm -hmm. this is the video recorded from classroom. That's the difference. So I'm trying to bring this idea to everywhere to get this content. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to make uh, something different way of teaching, for example, from Korea, from other country. The MOOC is from US, mostly from USA or England, whatever. And this MOOC, because there's no, no teacher, we can teach MOOC courses in Korea. I mean, they can find some engineer who can understand the MOOC courses. And they teach the Korea students about that courses. This is a double lecture. Using, using uh, I'm showing the, some way how we make a, a presentation. I will skip this part. Anyway, Coursera now get about $1 billion values uh, three years ago. I believe now maybe three to $4 billion. They make a f four. They know, they know a guy who works for Coursera. Yeah, they make a f 140 million profit last year. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest university, profitable, and delivering content from MIT, Stanford, whatever, which is free of charge. MOOC content they deliver, but the service 
for this uh, degrees or certificate, they got this money. So uh, I, I'm trying to change not only classroom teaching, but also e-learning area. The, the, the system, yes. Yeah, so, so far everybody using MOOC, but anyway, they need a little bit change. Mm -hmm. So uh, for example, I have a e-studio, which can make uh, the real-time presentation, uh, which make a better presentation in the classroom. And many, many product line I'm changing from notebook from meeting room, from studio, from classroom, from professional studio. Everybody can change the way of presentation so we can gather. For example, this is uh, uh, one of the minister, I mean education minister in Korea. She is doing speech and we record this way and then we send. Because these people watching I studio output. And then other people from outside can see the same thing from smartphone. That's the message. So. Uh, S several ideas I'm, I'm trying to bring in classroom. This is a previous time I show you how we make a Sweden-Korea collaboration of class. Mm -hmm. Same way we can do Stanford and Palau this way. Mm -hmm. And uh, the method of teaching, I'm trying to bring teaching in the back, not in the front, because we have output. It's like you are watching my video there. Mm -hmm. You are watching there, I'm, I'm behind. Right, right. So students can see what other classroom students can watch this. So uh, she, she is the worst position in the classroom because she is the bag of the class. Mm -hmm. So everybody watching here and she's watching, she's teaching. And same time we bring other classroom here. Mm -hmm. So the students here will feel everybody working, studying together. Right. So that's the idea how we combine multiple class mm -hmm. to feel every student in the same space. Mm -hmm. And they can make a question and answer anytime. And when they watch the MOOC video, also we can make a course where when they have anything, you can make a quiz so they can, they can pause. If the students make a right answer, they can go ahead. Otherwise, they have to repeat the watch. Some, some many tools are already available in the market. So our uh, hybrid university has a classroom where the teacher is teaching and same time this video going other other schools. And they have a studio, so anytime they can make a video, creating flip learning content there. So students can, can study in any place in the world. So the, the, I will jump this one because we have not enough time. Anyway, what I'm, what I'm trying here is to bring the new idea of uh, teaching. So you don't have to, Palau University don't have to invite the professor to teach or to create a course in Palau University. Instead, they can just uh, MOOC video in USA. The professor selects some courses. Mm -hmm. And they, the students have to study watching this MOOC. Mm -hmm. But there is another teacher who can help that course to listen. Mm -hmm. So they, the classroom people can come maybe one time in a week. Mm -hmm. They discuss what they study. Right. The, the local teacher, who is coaching people, yes, he right. manages. So basically, uh, the professor's mission is how to guide the students to pass the MOOC video. And same time, we make a collaborative class. So Stanford and Palau has a class together. So video, as, as long as we have video in the MOOC, the teacher don't have to teach there to have individual lessons, while the teacher can guide the students for discussion. So that's the whole idea I'm trying to bring the, uh, the hybrid uh, university there. Mm. So anyway, uh, thank you very much for listening and joining. So I hope to have uh, some new, new way of uh, teaching university in Palau. So we people enjoy Palau natures and also they can, they can enjoy study together. Yeah, this is very interesting, Dr. Kim very interesting and could really have a worldwide uh, implication yeah? yeah really could and it's uh, enhancing it's a new technology that enhancing the existing technologies right there is no borderline between yeah. america and Palau or korea yeah. everybody can feel study in the same space and okay we, thank you continue. thank you you make some chance to make uh, this technology using Palau Hawaii. You know.